Good day, everyone. This is Teacher Bell, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. Today, we will learn about finding the percentage of a number. It is very essential for us to know about the percentage of a number, since oftentimes we have to calculate the amount we had to pay when an item is on sale or when a product has a certain discount. In the previous video, we learned about how to change percent to fraction and decimal. It would be an advantage if you are cleared with the idea of percent, fraction, and decimal because the same concept will be applied to our lesson today. In case you want to check out the previous video, I will leave the link in the end screen and in the description box below. There are different question patterns when finding the percentage of a number. Here are some of the examples. What is 30% of 140? 15 is what percent of 300? 20% of what number is 50? We will discuss each question pattern in a short while. Let's begin with a very common question. What is 30% of 140? There are two ways you can find the percentage of a number. You can either change the percent into a fraction or into a decimal. If you're doing it manually, changing percent into a fraction is the easiest method. In our previous video, we learned that percent is a special fraction where the denominator is always 100. So 30% in fraction is 30 over 100. And the word off means you multiply, in this case, with the number 140. Since 140 is a whole number, changing it into a fraction comes with 1 as the denominator, which you may or may not show. But for the purpose of this video, we will write 1 so you can clearly see where the numbers are coming from. Take a look at the given numbers. Clearly, you can still reduce the fractions into simplest forms so that we can have a much smaller number to work with and much easier to multiply. Since we have two zeros in the numerator and two zeros in the denominator, we might as well cancel the zeros, leaving us with only 3 and 14. Thereby, when multiplied, we get a product of 42. So, for our answer, 30% of 140 is 42. Another way to find the percentage of a number is by changing percent into decimal. This other method is much easier, especially when you're using a calculator. Just change 30% into a decimal, which is 0 0.3, and multiply by 140, and the product is 42. Here is a similar question. What is 5% of 125? Just like what we did earlier, we can change the percentage into a fraction or a decimal. 5% in fraction is 5 over 100, and the word off means multiply, so times 125. Since 125 is a whole number, expressing it into a fraction goes with 1 as the denominator. You may reduce the fraction into its simplest form or you may continue with multiplication. Anyway, dividing a number with 100 can be done just by moving the decimal point. In this case, 5 times 125 is 625 all over 100. It means 625 divided by 100. In our previous video, we discussed that when dividing a number with 100, all we need to do is move the decimal point two places to the left, this way. We now have 6.25. So for our answer, 5% of 125 is 6.25. The other method is by changing percent into a decimal. So 5% in decimal is 0 0.05 
multiply by 125, we get the same product of 6.25. Here is another question pattern. 15 is what percent of 300? Let us rephrase the question so we can clearly understand what the problem is asking for. It says 15 out of 300 is what percentage? Looking at the number sentence, it is as simple as only changing fraction into a percentage. We previously learned that when we change fraction into a percentage, we only need to multiply the fraction by 100. So to express 100 as a fraction, since it is a whole number, the denominator is 1. You can see that we can make our number much smaller by canceling the two zeros in the number above and the other two zeros in the number below. We now have 15 over 3 or 15 divided by 3, which is a very small number to work with. And obviously, the answer is 5. So, 15 of 300 is 5%. We can check if our answer is correct. Let's see if 5% of 300 is 15. So, 5 over 100 times 300. Cancel the two zeros in the number above. Do the same with the two zeros in the number below. Now we have 5 times 3, which is 15. Therefore, our answer is correct. Here is a similar question. 24 is what percent of 96? To clearly understand what the problem is asking for, let's rephrase the question. It says 24 out of 96 is what percentage? Again, this is just changing fraction into percent by multiplying the fraction by 100. The given fraction 24 over 96 can still be reduced into its simplest form so we get a much smaller number. By dividing the fraction by 24, we get an equivalent fraction of 1 over 4 times 100. Since 100 is a whole number, expressing it into a fraction, it comes with a denominator 1. We now have 100 over 4 or 100 divided by 4, which is 25. So 24 over 96 is 25%. Let's check if our answer is correct. Let's see if 25% of 96 is 24. So 25% can be expressed as 25 over 100 times 96. We can still reduce 25 over 100 into a much smaller number by dividing it by 25. We get an equivalent fraction of 1 over 4. We now have 96 over 4 or 96 divided by 4, which is 24. This means our answer is correct. Here is another question pattern. 20% of what number is 50? Let's write the question in a number sentence to clearly understand what the number is asking for. So, 20% of an unknown number represented by x is equals to 50. We can now start by converting percent into a decimal. So 20% in decimal is 0.2 of an unknown number represented by x is equals to 50. We only need the value of x, so on the left side of the equation, we must get rid of 0.2 by dividing with the same number and do the same on the right side of the equation. We now have x equals 50 over 0.2 or 50 divided by 0.2. When dividing numbers with decimal, it is advisable to change the decimal into a whole number. This means in a number 0.2, the decimal point must be moved 
one place to the right. We now have whole number two. We must also do the same with 50. We should move the decimal point to the right. But where is the decimal point? In a whole number, the decimal point is right after the digit in the ones place, right here beside zero. And moving this point one place to the right means adding another zero, which means also that 50 now becomes 500. And 500 divided by 2 is 250. Let's check if our answer is correct. Let's see if 20% of 250 is equals to 50. 20% 20 is 20 over 100 times 250. With 1, of course, as the denominator. Cancel the two zeros in the fraction above. Do the same with the two zeros below. We now have 2 times 25, which is 50. Therefore, our answer is correct. Let's try to do simple word problems with percentage. Take a look at this one. Rene had 80 marbles. He gave 20% of the marbles to his friend, Brile. How many marbles did Brile get? So to find the number of marbles Brile received is to find what is 20% of 80. Express 20% as fraction with 20 over 100 and substitute the word of with the symbol x which means times 80. We can cancel the two zeros in the number above and do the same with the two zeros below. Now we only have to multiply 2 and 8 and the product is 16. So 20% of 80 is 16. Going back to the question, how many marbles did Brile get? For our answer, Brile got 16 marbles. Here is another problem. There are 125 mangoes in a box, and 75 of them are ripe. Calculate the percentage of ripe mangoes. Let's simplify the problem to better understand what is being asked. It says 75 ripe mangoes out of the total number of mangoes, which is 125. Then calculate the percentage. This problem can be solved by just converting fraction into percentage by multiplying the fraction by 100. The fraction 75 over 125 can still be reduced into simplest form by dividing both numbers by 25, giving us an equivalent fraction of 3 over 5. Multiply by 100 with 1 as the denominator. We now have 300 over 5 or 300 divided by 5, which is 60. There you have it. For our answer, we have 60% of the mangoes are ripe. So that's it. I hope you have reached this part of the video and that you now have a better understanding about how to get the percentage of a number. And that would be all for this lesson. And if you find this video useful, hit the like button and share to people you know, for this may also be helpful for them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos only here on Lessons Made Easy. Once again, this is Teacher Bell saying thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you again in our next lesson.